Okay, so we have here the Quartus 13.1 software and um, I have created a project and um, the name of the project is, is similar to the name of my top level module which is test underline 06 and then here uh, I have the directory or the folder structure for the files of my project so I have one test underline 06 folder which will contain the files related to the Quartus project and it will contain also our beta streams and also our partial beta streams then uh, we have the source folder it contains uh, the VHDL source code for our design so this design is in VHDL it contains the timing.stc file which is the timing constraint file and then it contains the pins underline txt which uh, is a text file that I have created and it contains the lines for pin assignments to the Cyclone V device pins from the ports of the module okay and then we have our top level module okay so I go ahead and I add these files to the project so project add remove files I have the add remove files interface here and then I come source and then for the source I add one of the implementations of my blinker module as we see we have three personas for the blinker module and um, I add the first persona of the blinker module to the project my partial.vht which is the package uh, which contains the um, definitions for the components that I use for partial reconfiguration it contains it's inside my partial.vht and the top level so I add these files uh, to the project and then also I add the timing constraint file to the project okay so we have the timing constraint file we add this one also to the project and here we have all of the files that we need okay so if you are using Quartus Prime software you, you don't have these tabs here what you have this this tabs is actually moved uh, to a drop down list here which much more oh, it's more beautiful okay so it's a drop down list here that you select which one of these guys you want to see okay there's no difference so here my top level my blinker module implementation the package and the timing constraints and for now I can show you what's inside the implementation of the blinker module so if I open this guy with Kate we will see we have a very simple VHDL module this is actually a 26 bits counter and I have connected the most significant bit of this counter to the lead out okay so this is persona one of the blinker module and now if I you I show you the other personas they are exactly the same as persona one the only difference is the number of bits in the counter so here we have a counter of 27 bits and I have connected the MSB bit of this counter to the lead out so for persona two we have exactly the same behavior as persona one but the frequency at which the lead will blink will be lower okay and now, and now the final one is this one is again the same but the counter is 28 bits okay so I have added the persona one to the project so in practice when the synthesis tool wants to synthesize your design only one of these personas can be active so you can't add all of the personas right now to the project I will show you later how you should add different personas to the project and you should tell Quartus look this is another persona for this module I will I will show you this one later okay but for now I have started with persona 1 and the rest of the necessary files uh, and now um, I want to add the IP the partial reconfiguration IP to the project and then we go ahead with analysis and elaboration to make sure everything is fine okay so if I come back in fact to the files which are creating this project the source files here is the top level and the my partial the VHD these two files I will describe to you in the private video that you will have upon a donation or purchase 
And um, actually the key part of uh, this design related to partial configuration is here, is inside the top level. So for now we have these files and I want to add the partial reconfiguration IP core to this project because that is the IP core that I call inside my top level module. So to, to generate the partial reconfiguration IP core for Quartus 13.1, you come here to the tools um, menu and then a Mega Wizard plugin manager. Or if you are using uh, Quartus Prime, then you will have a, in fact, a kind of window, small window here inside your software and inside the window, you just uh, type the name of the IP that you want and the name of the IP is partial reconfiguration. So you type partial reconfiguration and then you can select your IP. So here I come to Mega Wizard plugin manager, create a new custom Mega function um, variation. Then I press next. Then here I type partial reconfiguration. And then I double click on this guy. I want a VHDL instance of this guy. And then for the name of this guy, the name that I select is PR, partial reconfiguration, underline IP. Okay, so this is actually the setting I do in this dialog box. And then um, I press next. And as you press next, uh, Quartus opens up the window for you uh, to configure the IP itself. Okay, and one important point that you should note inside uh, this window is that the partial reconfiguration IP core supports a partial reconfiguration from the internal host only for the Stratix device. Okay, and we are using a cyclone here. Okay, so we have an error here. Error PR IP partial reconfiguration mega function is not supported for the specified device family when used as internal host. And in order to solve this error, you, you just simply untick this uh, use as PR internal host, okay? So you disable this one. As you disable this one, a new set of ports will be added to your IP, which allows uh, an external host outside the FPGA to transfer the partial reconfiguration data to the FPGA, okay? Um, so at the moment, um, I don't use that external interface. At the moment, to transfer the partial bit streams to the FPGA, I use JTAG. So in order to transfer the partial bit stream from my PC to the FPGA to the partial reconfiguration IP block, I use the JTAG interface. But when these ports are enabled, then um, you will be able to use them to transfer the partial bit stream using these signals uh, from an external host uh, to, to your FPGA, okay? So for now, for this project, I, I don't use this one. And for the next project, again, I don't use this one. This, um, I will, as I will show you, I will use the Avalon bus. But um, right now, so you would see these are not practically connected to anywhere. And then, um, this enable JTAG debug mode is active and uh, I leave these two configurations as the default value. Okay, so the bits for the data bus for transferring the bit stream is 16 bits and the clock to data ratio is one. Okay, these are not important at the moment. And then I press finish. And as I press finish, Quartus generates the core for you. You press exit and then you make sure that the Quartus is adding the file, the, uh, in fact, partial reconfiguration IP to your project. Now that you have this set of files, you can simply go ahead with analysis and elaboration. Okay, so I, I run the analysis and elaboration and um, then also you can change from RTL simulation to full design and even you can generate in fact a, a bit of stream for your design. I have not yet defined the pins. Okay, so we have done the initial analysis and synthesis and place and route that was just a test to make sure everything is fine. 
and now I can add the pin definitions so in order to add the pin definitions I come here um, to in fact my test uh, underline 06 folder and I open the Quartus uh, assignment file which is here and then I add the assignments related to pins of my design here okay I have the assignments already available inside the text file so I, I copy these guys and paste them here inside the assignment file and then I save the file and then that's it we have done the pin assignment okay so we have done the pin assignment and uh, we can go again uh, through um, the initial analysis and then the place and route so uh, right now here is the placed and routed design with pins of the design assigned so in order to check that we can open pin planner and inside the pin planner uh, you can check if um, all of your pins have a defined location okay so uh, right now what I see is that I should double check the let out tree but the rest of the guys is are okay so I will I will uh, check the let out tree um, later so Here is uh, our initial project, okay? Here is our initial project. Uh, things uh, look fine, except this let out tree, I will check it later. So um, I go now to the next step that I want to describe to you what's inside test underline 06 top level, what's inside the package, and then I want to tell you how do I add different personas from one, from one module to my project, okay? These are the contents of uh, the next video, the private video that you can download from your folder when you purchase or you make a donation. Okay, so this is up to now. Then we will jump. If you are watching the YouTube video, we will jump after that section.